It really is a terrific place to live. The clear water, the rocky cliffs. This is Guantanamo Bay. And this is Guantanamo Bay, the site of what Amnesty International calls a toxic legacy for human rights. Off in the darkness, Camp X-Ray. This is where the first post 9-11 prisoners were held. Now it is abandoned and overgrown. You can see the razor wire from the road, but you can only reach what remains by walking a gravel path. The wooden guard tower and structures rotting, home to snakes and wasps. Top leaders of the detention center say all of these images now part of a dark chapter that has since closed. It is the face of you know, not such good things that may have happened in the past. My entire chain of command, all the way to the President of the United States, knows that we do business here in a very professional manner. I know what we're doing here, and I know we're doing the right thing. Since taking office, President Obama has called for the closure of Gitmo. Keeping this facility open is contrary to our values. Only 80 terror suspects remain here. 26 are held under what's called the law of war, but could be transferred out. Seven have been charged with war crimes, three convicted. 44 held indefinitely under the law of war designation. We were able to photograph some of them through thick glass, but cannot show you their faces. Nine sent just last week to Saudi Arabia. Here's the wrinkle. Congress has prohibited the detainees from transferring to the U.S., and for some, there is nowhere else to go. I've got to be able to run the place no matter what happens. Which means for those who follow the rules, books, television, time to congregate with fellow prisoners, all have access to doctors. But the hospital here is also equipped with this, a feeding chair. Those who go on a hunger strike, soldiers call them non-religious fasters, could be fed liquid nutrition while restrained in this chair, only with the permission of the higher-ups. We try to convince them that you know, there is a certain amount of harm that can come from the long-term non-religious fast, and so we try to work with them in that. Captain Rich Quatrone says in his six months here, no one has had to be forced. Behind these fences, soldiers say, Despite the uncertainty, and despite the politics. My folks do a, a difficult job every day, uh, but they do it professionally, and they do it with honor. 